Okay, so today we're gonna do a fun little experiment with Mini 2. We have something like this, a gift card, or a credit card, debit card, something of that size, a thin plastic card, and we wanna show how you can successfully scan that with Mini 2 without using marker mode and without merging in the software. Just a straight up scan using feature tracking. So first of all, let's try it out and show what could be the problems. We're gonna use this little putty here, pull that out, put it on the turntable. We're gonna put our card in. So right away you can see that it's a little reflective. So even in the preview screen, it's not really seeing it. So let's just put some scanning spray on this card to help it out some. because it's necessarily, what we're trying to address here is not the issue of it being too reflective, but just the fact that it's so thin, if we can properly actually do a full 360 scan of this card. So now that I put some scanning spray on it, we should be able to see it easier on the preview window. All right, so now let's get into the trick so that we can get a successful scan. We have these two pieces of paper ripped in half. Just make two objects thin, different features. Obviously the important thing is that they're not symmetrical and we're gonna place one on each side of the card. So then as it gets to the thin area, the scanner will have two other things to read off of some feature rich objects. So try to make it, you know, roughly the same size as the card itself. Crumple it into whatever shape you really want. There we go, just like that. <laughs> Put again some of the putty underneath it. so that it can stay upright. There we go with that one. Make something similar here. Some nice origami shapes. Okay. Start rotating it, and we added some more scanning spray as well, because the first time I did it was a little light, but now you can see in the preview window as it's rotating around, that's really solid. All right, let's try scanning this again. Exposure, it's auto exposure, feature tracking. And of course, we are not doing a color scan here. Beautiful. So it did not, as it was making that twist, that turn, when the scanner hit the thin side, didn't lose tracking because of the two paper chunks we have next to it. So we'll just go let it go a little further, then we'll edit it. All right. Complete that, we'll do one tip, one uh, click editing on the first try around and see how it goes. We can always go back in the individual stages and manual edit. Okay, so there we have it. Card came out well.
Okay, so there you have it. We got our nice result. Again, keeping in mind what? Making sure that you have a solid scan spray surface on the card. So we found actually a good recommendation is after you spray it, still let it sit a little bit. Don't, because it's kind of hard when you grab it right away to put it back in the putty, it's gonna take some of that scanning spray off. So make sure you let it settle a little bit, and then put it in the putty and make sure you have these two objects on both sides to create more feature when the card is twisting. And then make sure the turntable itself is at a slow speed so that the scanner can really accurately pick up the shape of the credit card or the gift card itself. So hopefully that was useful. Go on and give it a try.